Yes. Hi. It's me. Are you doing well? I hope so. Listen, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to react to a movie called... Wait. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. The only thing I know about this movie is that it's a comedy. I think it's British. What else? Something to do with King Arthur. And that's about it. So I am really in the mood for a comedy. So one British comedy that I recently watched was an American werewolf in London. And it was great. <laughs> it was something different. Okay, I appreciated it. So now I'm gonna watch this and uh, let's just see how it goes. I want to laugh. I'm in the mood for a good laugh and for peeing also, but more to laugh. Python, Monty. Python? Isn't Python like a snake or something? Am I watching this movie backwards? Okay. Okay. Is this movie over? <laughs> you apologize for the fault in the subtitles. Those responsible have been sacked. What? Is this part of the movie? What's going on? Did I do something wrong? <laughs> You know, Venezuelan red llamas? Okay, all right. Yeah. What the fudge? <laughs> What's going on? I, Arthur, son of Uther Pendragon from the castle. Oh, this is Arthur. King of the Britons. Defeater of the Saxons, sovereign of all England. Where did you get the coconuts? We found. Good question. In Mercia, the coconuts tropical. <laughs> the swallow may fly south with the sun. A swallow carrying a coconut, a five-ounce bird, could not carry a one-pound coconut. Well, it doesn't matter. It could be carried by an African swallow. Oh my God! So they couldn't bring a coconut back. Any Just let it. Let just let the thing go. Just let it go. What are swallows anyway? Um, I mean, yeah, it's the 900s. Who knows what plague is killing people? He needs to get a horse. Somebody get him a horse, a donkey, maybe, a cow. None shall pass. What? None shall pass. Oh. I have no quarrel with you, good Sir Knight, but I must cross this bridge. Then you shall die. <gasps> Is that the Scalibur? <laughs> now stand aside, worthy adversary. I love it. But a scratch. A scratch? A scratch? No, it isn't. Well, what's that then? <laughs> You're gonna fight with one arm. Look, you stupid bastard! You've got no arms left. Yes, I exactly. Look, it's just a flesh wound. A flesh wound. <laughs> Look, stop that, chicken! No. Right, I'll do you for that. It's it's time to stop, Mister Sir Knight. All right, we we'll call it a draw. <laughs> Come, Patsy. You yellow bastard! Come back here and take what's coming to you! Yellow? Who are you? <laughs> Who are so wise in the ways of science? I am Arthur, King of the Britons. Will you come with me to Camelot and join us at the round table? My liege, I would be honored! The wise Sir Bedivere was the first to join King Arthur's knights, but other illustrious names were soon to follow. Sir Lancelot the Brave, huh? Sir Galahad the Pure, and Sir Robin the not quite so brave as Sir Lancelot, who had nearly <laughs> fought the Dragon of Angnor, who had nearly stood up to the vicious Chicken of Bristol, and who had personally wet himself at the Battle of Baden Hill. Together they formed a band 
whose names and deeds were to be retold throughout the centuries. The Knights <laughs> of the Round Table. Let us ride to Camelot. We're Knights of the Round Table. We dance where we're able. We're A song. You know, I have to say, I have to say that this is very similar to French comedies. I, yeah, I can see the resemblance, the style, the cinematography, the jokes. King of the Brit Oh my god, that's terrifying. No, no. And don't apologize every time I try to... Oh my god, I'm gonna have nightmares with this. Arthur, your knights of the round table shall have a task to make them an example in these dark times. Behold, Arthur, this is the holy grail. Look well, Arthur. Oh, they have to look for it. ...to seek this grail. That is your purpose, Arthur. The quest for the holy grail. That is... disturbing. <laughs> Disturbing. <laughs> but yeah, this is very similar to French stuff. Oh, the, come on, they need to get horses. Oh, there's the horses. <laughs> I can't. Whose castle is this? This is the castle of my master, Guido Luamba. He is French. They're French. If he will give us food and shelter for the night, he can join us in our quest for the Holy Grail. Uh, he's already got one, you see? I told him we already got one. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm French! Why do you think I have this outrageous accent? And the mustard. What are you doing in <laughs> England? Mind your own business! <laughs> If you will not show us the grail, we shall take your castle by force. You don't frighten us, English pig dogs. I can't imagine this happening in real life. Oh no. Why? Oh my god. Wait. Oh. Ce lapin, le pas de bois. Ah. <laughs> Un caballo de Troya. What happens now? Well, now, uh, Lancelot, uh, Galahad and I... Shouldn't they be inside? Guys, come on. Who leaps out? Uh, you. Lancelot, Galahad and I. Is this really happening? Oh. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh. Run no. Oh. Dude. Pitch for schools. Take eight. Action. Defeat at the castle seems to have utterly disheartened King Arthur, having consulted his closest knights, decided that they should separate and search for the grail in the... What? Now this is what they did. Ah. Frank! Frank! <laughs> His wife was randomly there. <laughs> the tale of Sir Robin. Oh. So each of the knights went their separate ways. We're gonna follow them individually now. Oh, transition. Okay, I like it. <laughs> oh, is that it? That's subtle. We are but eight score young blondes and brunettes, all between 16 and 19 and a half. Cut off in this castle with no one to protect us. Bathing, dressing, undressing. I knew it was going to get sexual. You may lie here. They're, they're so young. Oh, you must see the doctors immediately. I don't, I don't know. What seems to be the trouble? They're the doctors. They're the doctors? Uh, they have a basic medical training, yes. Are you sure that's absolutely necessary? We must examine you. We must. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Please, we are doctors. 
This cannot be. I am sworn to chastity. Back to your bed at once. I have seen. Oh. oh. Is that a dorm? I don't think. I don't think he's going to escape this. Maybe they lured him in. You know. Maybe he didn't really see a grail. You must tie her down on a bed and spank her. Of course. Of course. And after you have spanked her, you may deal with her as you like. And then, spank me. And spank me. And me. And me. Yes. Yes, you must give us all a good spanking. Yes. And after the spanking, the oral sex. Check out her. Oh my god. Quick, what? Quick, why? You're in great peril. No, he is this silence, proud temptress. I can defeat them. There's only 150 of them. Yes, yes, he'll beat us easily. We haven't a chance. Oh, oh, shit. Uh, we were in great peril. I I, um. Yeah. Sir Lancelot had saved Sir Galahad from almost certain temptation. Mm -hmm. But they were still no nearer the Grail. Meanwhile, King. What's with the. <laughs> Furry hand. Stop that! Stop that! <laughs> stop that! Look on! Clear! Do it! Go away! And you! Clear! <laughs> Bloody weather. I really like these transitions. One day, lad, all this will be yours. What, the curtains? <laughs> no, not the curtains, lad. Oh, what you can see! But I don't want any of that. I'd rather. Rather what? I'd rather just sing. In 20 minutes, you're getting married to a girl whose father owns the biggest tracts of open land in Britain. We live on a bloody swamp. We need all the land we can get. <laughs> Why did you build your castle on a swamp? I want the, the girl that I marry to have a certain special something. Let, please, let him sing. God! Make sure the prince doesn't leave this room until I come and get him. Not to leave the room, even if you come and get him. Until I come and get him. Uh, if, if, uh, yeah, if, if we... Is it? Oh, look, it's quite simple. Uh, you just stay here and make sure he doesn't leave the room. Is that clear? Oh, quite clear. No problems. What the f***? Where are you going? Huh? We're coming with you. Father! Shut your noise, you, and get that suit on. I'm not <laughs> oh, go and get a glass of water. <laughs> Why is it so funny? It's gonna take him like 40 minutes to get to the door. <laughs> Didn't say to kill everybody. Ah, now you're not allowed to enter. Ah. <laughs> oh, fair one. I'll hold your humble servant, Sir Lancelot of Camelot. I've come to take you. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. You got my note. I knew that somewhere out there, Look. there must be someone. Oh, stop that! Stop that! Stop it! <laughs> stop it! Please tell me he's going to get to sing at some point. You killed a wedding guest and all? Well, you see, the thing is, I thought your son was a lady. I can understand that. Hurry, Sir Lancelot! Hurry! Shut up! I mean, to be so understanding. Huh. Say, when I'm in this idiom, I sometimes get a bit of a sort of... Did he kill him? <coughs> oh, no, it's... It's a swamp. Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> this is the this is worse than the red wedding. This is Sir Lancelot from the court of Camelot. And my special guest here today. Special guest? You're gonna call him that. He's supposed to be a happy occasion. Half of the people invited are corpses. But I don't want to think I've lost a son so much as gained a daughter. Since the near fatal wounding of her father is getting better. <laughs> Since her own father, who, when he seemed about to recover, suddenly felt the icy hand of death upon him. <laughs> oh, he's died. And I want his only daughter to look upon me as her old 
dad. Whoa, 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 whoa. I feel sure that the what is he? The union between the princess and the brave but dangerous Sir Lancelot of Camelot. <laughs> oh, I feel much better. You fell out of the tall tower, you creep. No, I was saved at the last minute. Ow! Well, I'll tell you. Not like that. Not like. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Let him sing. Quickly, sir, come this way. No, it's not right for my idiom. I must escape more dramatically, sir. Dramatically. <laughs> oh, the enchanter. Okay, that's kind of cool. What manner of man are you that can summon up fire without flint or tinder? I am an enchanter. By what name are you known? There are some who call me Enchanter. Tim? <laughs> Greetings. Tim? Timothy? Yes, we're, we're looking for the Holy Grail. Uh, yes, I can help you find the Holy Grail. Oh, thank you. To the north there lies a cave, wherein, carved in mystic runes upon the very living rock, the last words of Ulfin Bedwyr of Regent make plain the last resting place of the most Holy Grail. Follow! But follow only if ye be men of valor. For the entrance to this cave is guarded by a creature so foul that no man yet has fought with it and lived. Okay, if you put it that way. There he is. Where? It's something what, behind horrendous the behind the it rabbit. The rabbit. It's the rabbit. Well, that's no ordinary rabbit. Oh. That's the most foul, cruel, and bad tip. But he's so cute. One rabbit suit coming right up. Look. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I warned you, but did you listen to me? Oh, no, you knew it all, didn't you? Oh, it's just a harmless. I, I, I wasn't expecting that. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> that rabbit is such a good actor. Brother Maynard, bring up the holy hand grenade. That's the thing that kings hold. And the Lord spake, saying, First shalt thou take out the holy pin, then shalt thou count to three. Three shall be the number thou shalt count, and the number of the counting shall be three. <laughs> it's funny because that's the Bible. The Bible is like that. Once the number three, being the third number, be reached, <laughs> then... One, two, five! Three, sir! Three! Oh, poor little bunny. <laughs> this is so weird. What does it say? It reads, Here may be found the last words of Joseph of Arimathea. Which are? He who is valiant and pure of spirit may find the Holy Grail in the castle of... Uh... Oh. What? He died. Uh, <laughs> what is dead? He must have died while carving. Exactly. Oh! oh! My God! It's the legendary black beast of... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Keep I, I don't know if I l like this creative choice or not. It doesn't matter. Thunder's black beast lunged forward. Escape for Arthur and his knight seemed hopeless. <gasps> when suddenly, the animator suffered a fatal heart attack. What? <laughs> the cartoon peril was no more. Oh. The quest Thankfully. for the Holy Grail could continue. 
Who would cross the bridge of death must answer me these questions three. What is your name? My name is Sir Lancelot. That's it. <laughs> that is it. Oh wait, he has to cross that horrible bridge. What is your name? Sir Robin of Camelot. What is your quest? To seek the Holy Grail. What is the capital of Assyria? <laughs> I don't know that. Oh my god. What is your name? Sir Galahad of Camelot. I seek the Grail. What is your favorite color? Blue. No. Ow, oh, you couldn't answer your own question about yourself. That would happen to me. What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? <laughs> what do you mean? What if he African knows? European swallow? I, I don't know that. <gasps> <laughs> that was that was such a good twist. Oh, intermission. Lancelot! Lancelot! <laughs> Wait, did he do it? I don't remember. Was it him? What? 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 Oh. Where are we going? The castle art. Uh -huh. Our quest is at an end. There is a castle ah This movie Hello Tapping You guys again <laughs> So we French fellows out with you a second time How dare you profane this place with your prince Oh the castle ah was invaded by the French How you English say ah one more time Mac Unclog my nose in your direction, sons of a window dresser. Window dresser? In the name of God and the glory of our... What is... What is that? That settles it! You ain't heard nothing yet, daffy English pinnigit. <laughs> They're giving up. The French have the... Holy... Grail. Sorry, I had a, an accident. For attack! How? What? How? Where? You know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But you know what? I have to support the French. I just have to. French person! <laughs> Today the blood of many a valiant knight shall be avenged. In the name of God, we shall not stop our fight till each one of you lies dead. How are they going to get in? Get <laughs> dead once I'm sure. They are all under arrest. Come on, move on. What the f <laughs> Oh no, they're taking King Arthur. This has to be one of the biggest blood twists All right, Sonny, that's in enough. cinema history. <laughs> Sonny? Don't tell me, don't tell me it's over. No. I, I don't accept this. I'm not taking this. It faded to black, but it's not over. I'm just gonna sit here and wait. I'm gonna go ahead and give my final thoughts on this movie. But I'm not even sure it's over. This movie cannot be serious. Oh, it's over. No, it's over. I gotta say that I liked the plot twist at the end, but it's so dissatisfying that they never got to the holy grail. Because, you know, you, you wait for that, the whole movie, and they never got to actually attack the French. I, w I wanted to see what, what was gonna happen there. This movie fooled me several times, and it's, I guess, 
it's a very good thing about it that is so unpredictable a lot of the twists i did not see coming it's really funny and creative i i enjoyed my time watching it it's really funny and um i don't think i have much to say a lot of it did not make sense but that's the point so yeah very enjoyable and i guess that's it thank you so much for watching and thank you if you made it to this part of the video thank you so much for sticking around and thank you for being here i'll see you in the next one bye